Hey everyone, I wanted to show you my boxes all on the table as well as my filler boxes that I will be sending off today at noon. Um, I'll show you right here. I'm, I printed off these to attach to each one of my shoe boxes. It's just a receipt to show that we uh, paid for our, sh you know, we paid for the shipping for each of our shoe boxes. Uh, right here, now this was my how to pack an OCC shoe box. Somebody mentioned that I could put masking tape over this, so that's what I did on the lid and the bottom just to help keep the print nice. Um, now I ran out of these OCC labels, so <laughs> some of my boxes just have them written in marker. And East Coast Stories and Sonia's shoe boxes suggested that we take a permanent marker. I have it right here and write because sometimes the masking tape can come off and the labels can come off so I just um, put it on with marker and I will ask the guy when I drop these off if, if they have labels to attach to these as well. I also had a viewer suggest that I add in a metal thimble to each of my sewing shoe boxes so I am going to be putting these into each of my sewing shoe boxes. Now I like putting the 107 rubber bands on my boxes, but they're expensive, so I only can put some on the more tight ones. So for the rest of my shoe boxes, I just pick up these number 64 rubber bands. And then I did not get to unbox all of my shoe boxes this year. I just ran out of time. So some of them still needed a picture um, and note cards. So I got these card stocks from my dollar store and I attached a very no makeup, we just got out of bed in the morning photo, <laughs> but um, that's what we look like most days. So I just put our message on the back of the note card with my email address and I'll be slipping these into my boxes. And I think I'm going to do this next year. I like this idea. I have 41 shoe boxes total to send off today. This is one that I did not get to show you guys, but I'll show you a little bit of it now. This is a little, this is for a 10 to 14 girl and it's a tropical theme. Now I added in this photo album and some cardstock and I even gave her examples of how she could use all of the craft items in her shoe box. I even took out one of her little coloring pictures to show her that she could put her coloring pages in here and color them. She has a clipboard here in that tropical theme, a little flamingo bird. I gave her lots of washi tape and I just put it around the glue stick some of these cool felt stickers. She has a friendship, a friendship making bracelet. Now she has a really cool suction cup light with batteries. I also gave her a flamingo Sudoku puzzle. And I think she has a really cute little journal there. I also gave her laundry soap um, and menstrual pads. I am definitely doing this little mini unboxing um, old school style. <laughs> I love her little nail clipper set here. So um, yeah, I'm not going to get into everything, but that's one of the boxes that I was not able to do a video of. And then over here, I wasn't going to do a video on this one anyways, but I'll quickly show you. This is for a girl two to four, and it is a, a kitchen theme. Now all of her food items in here are fruit and veggie. So I added in some cheesecloth. Her mummy could use it or an older sibling. She has a little crinkly soft toy here. There's a ball. I put all of the food items and the little play knife in here. So that would be great for working her hands and motor skills. And then there's a book here that matches her apple figurine. And I think I put in quite a bit of underwear. I kind of imagined this one going to two siblings. So I put in a lot of leggings, underwear, and I think I put two tank tops in. And yeah, so that's my kitchen shoe box. And then I have a boy five to nine craft shoe box. Um, he has a really nice size stuffy there. Colored pencils with band-aids inside. He has a flashlight and the batteries, I put electrical tape around it. He has a really nice kid-made modern journal, some scratch art. 
he has a rain uh, a rain shaker that he can make. All the stuff is inside. There's his flashlight. He has a tote bag, underwear. So that one I didn't get to unbox either. Um, and then I have here, this is my Fillers Boy 10 to 14. I had some loose leaf paper. Now it did not fit completely in this these Ziploc bags, so I just took a metal clip and clipped it together. This one has scissors, glue stick, markers, pens. So I have some of those and they have stickers on them. Now I did a school supply video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the cards at the end of this video, but this is just a bunch of pencil fillers. And then here is Filler Boys uh, 10 to 14. Now these are Lego kit wow items. There's a nice size base plate and I still have to put this one in the Ziploc bag. I think I have one, two, three, four, five of these. There is a Lego car in that one with a little guy riding in it. So I have big wow Lego items and then I also made some little ones and I just put a couple of hockey cards on the bottom. Hockey is a big thing here in Canada, so my husband had a lot of those. So boxes that might be kind of full, they might be able to get one or two of these in. I think I have beach balls down there as well, jump ropes. And then my friend Sharon over at East Coast Stories, she gave me the heads up on these uh, Dollar Tree bags. I wanted these for my marbles. So I used these. And I just put them inside of a Ziploc bag. They have marbles in them, and shooter marbles, shoot the shooter balls. And then I put in two uh, colorful shoelaces to be used for the string for playing marbles. So I have marbles, Legos, I think there's a few crafts here as well. Here's that rain stick craft kit. And I have a filler boy two to four. I just put in a couple of these stuffed animals that I didn't end up using. Uh, in my boxes, this is a cute uh, puppet. Here's a bear. And then I also have my toddler uh, boy two to four pouches. And the reason why I call these toddler is because they are enclosed. But of course, you know, they may use them for whoever. And I did end up adding in two more toddler pencil pouches. This one is uh, Disney cars. And then I have a coloring page rolled up and there is crayons inside that are in a Ziploc bag. Now this is something that I want to do next year. I want to do more of these. It's a, I think this is a fun filler for two to four. Just a little stuffed animal and then a doctor's kit to go with the stuffed animal. So I want to do more of those. And then just some little stuffed animals that are individually wrapped. I have a Thomas Mays with some crayons. So those are my boy two to four fillers, as well as the boy 10 to 14. And again, I have 41 boxes that I will be sending off. Now, one of the things I wanted to share with you real quick, a couple days ago, we had to purchase a fridge because we really uh, needed one. And so when we went to buy it a couple days ago, we asked the lady who helped us if they were gonna have some Black Friday deals because up here in Canada, we do the Black Friday deals. Uh, but she said there wasn't going to be one on that specific fridge. So, you know, we were fine with that. We said, okay, and we purchased it. But just this morning we looked and that exact fridge that we purchased went down $300. So we contacted them and we're, get, we're gonna be getting back $300. And I wanted to share that because the morning that I'm sending my boxes off, God provided almost the entire shipping amount that we needed for our 41 boxes. I just wanted to share that with you because God does provide and I just want to give um, God the glory for that. We were just amazed this morning that we found that out. So we're really happy uh, and thankful.
Uh, my wife starts around like, September, around yeah. there. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> 